I think it's on. Hey subbies. So I am here with another video. Today's video is going to be a huge, expensive, just kidding. It's going to be a haul. Um, as you guys know, I'm not the spender. I don't like to spend a lot of money. I um, actually went to the Brea Mall yesterday and I passed by Sephora and it was so hard for me to not go in there, but I knew that what was going on in my head just looking at the store that it wouldn't have ended well. I probably would have ended up wasting my whole check there just because I find myself wanting to try everything. And I just think that could be like a big waste of money for me because I'm really picky and I never leave happy because I'm always like, oh my god, I spent too much money. So we'll just go on with my normal little hauls. Um, as you guys know, I actually enjoy shopping like this. It's not that that's all I can afford or anything. I just like to stay on the light, inexpensive side because I rather spend my money on food, which is crazy because I'm trying not to eat bad right now, but healthy food is so expensive. So, I mean, it all works out. So, let's just jump right into it. So, I've been to a few stores. Um, we'll start with um, Food for Less. I was inside Food for Less. I went for one thing. I'm not too sure what I went for. I don't even remember. But if you guys know, Food for Less, Target, and as well as the internet, sells Elf products, eyes, lips, and face. Um, so they did have a lot of things there. Target normally sells some of them that are more a little bit more expensive, like $3 or $6, which is not really expensive to me. It's like expensive, but it's not. Um, but at Food for Less, they mainly just sell the dollar products. The, um, you know, brushes, the, uh lip liners or I don't know um, but I found this um, really 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 pretty um, bronzer it was a dollar it's 2401 Sunkissed I used it already I don't know if you can see this works really well as like a highlighter illuminator I don't know can you guys even see this because I'm really frustrated right now wait okay so let's just pause right here so before I get into it Lately, my lighting has been perfect, and I've been doing good, and I've just been loving the way my videos are coming out. Well, this Sunday, which was supposed to be a fun day, caused my phone to come out like this. As you guys can see, my phone is completely cracked, and this has happened to me before, but this time I actually got the camera cracked as well, as you can see. So I am not able to post any videos from my phone or take any videos of that matter. That is why I'm using my iPad again and I love my iPad. It's perfect. But as far as the lighting, I just can never seem to get it right on here. I don't know what it is, but that's what's going on in my life right now. Which is why I was at the brand mall because I went to the Apple store. But I had to back up my pictures first and I had 4,000 pictures. It's just this big mess. So I'm here still with the broken phone and hopefully we're going to fix that this week. But, um... Back to this, um, it's really pretty. I really, really, really love it. I don't know if I can maybe swatch it on my finger. It's like a goldish color, like a gold bronzy sandy color. It's just perfect, especially for this weather right now because it's so sunny and just, I just, it, it works good and it's a dollar. They have other colors that I plan on going back to Food for Less soon to go buy makeup, which sounds weird to me, but nonetheless. So that was the other day, and then yesterday, actually, when I was at the mall, I picked up this little sample. I haven't tried it yet, but I've been looking for something like this, so if any of you guys have tried this, let me know. So we are walking by the booth, the Her Styler booth, and the lady was like, here, I have a sample for you. And she grabbed, she gave it to me, and I grabbed it, and as I grabbed it, she touched my hair, and she was like, oh, sweetie, why so dry? And I was just like... Because it's dead. Like, thank you, Captain Obvious, for stating that my hair is dry. Um, I didn't let you curl my hair or do whatever because I don't need to be judged at the mall when I'm just walking around. So, she did give me the sample, though, so I can't be totally mean to her. It's a Her Cellar Vitamin E Hair Serum. Um, I don't know if I'm reading it correctly, but it seems like you can use it for two different things. Um... It says, use a small amount of damp hair before styling for ultimate shine and softness. And then it says, apply to dry hair before and after straightening to seal split ends and reduce fulfillness. Fluffiness. Fulfillness. <laughs> that was funny, but. Um, regardless, I want to use it because my split ends. My hair is 
very long, but when I curl it, I just curled it so it's still a little on the tight side, so that's why it looks kind of short. But you can totally see my split ends, and it's not a cute thing. It's not cute. That's why, like, why did she have to say that? I mean, it's true, but still. So I plan on using this um, probably sometimes this week. So I'll definitely let you guys know, and as well as if you guys know anything about this or any other one that's good, let me know because I still do have my Avon one, but I wanted to try something that's more available because I haven't been seeing it lately, so I just want to get, I don't want to get too attached to something that I'm not going to be able to find in the future, so if you guys know anything else, let me know. So that was yesterday, and then last night I actually went to a little, um, the little drugstore by my house. I picked up a few things. I, of course, picked up a new set of my 203 Red Cherry Eyelashes. They're $1.99. I'm wearing them right now. I always wear them, so I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them before or if you heard me talk about them. You probably like them yourself because they're awesome. So I picked that up. I also picked up a new NYX lip gloss. As you guys know, this is my favorite lip gloss. I have about four. I have four of them, and this is my fifth one, and this is in the color 19 Apricot. It's really pretty. I'm wearing it right now. Of course, the lighting isn't too good, so of course, you're not going to be able to see it all the way. But um, let me see. almost lost it guys I think that's probably a little bit better it's like on the pinky side but it's not too pink it's apricot you know it looks it matches good for like light skin but dark skin as well because it's not like full on pink it's like a nicely toned summery color so I really like this and this was $149 as well so I suggest you guys pick this up and then also there um, I bought this little brush to set my concealer with it's a Stella, not a Stella. It was $1.99, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this print. I have the larger one. Oh, I just broke the case, but I had I have the larger one that I use for my blush, and I really wanted to get my hands on this because it's like the perfect size for under my eyes, just to pack on the um, powder to set my concealer. So I'm really loving this, and the pattern is so pretty. It's like a floral. Like I referenced it last time to the dress that Kim Kardashian wore where everyone compared her to the couch. This is it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. And then also um, I picked up this really nice necklace. My cousin actually had one like this similar, not totally the same um, from Forever 21. And I tried to go back to find it, but I couldn't. Basically hers was all like this chain right here. And she's probably watching this. So just to let you know, girl, I am still wanting your necklace, so you better find me that ASAP. But for now, this will do. Um, so hers is like this whole chain all the way around, sort of like a bib necklace. This one is like gold, rose gold, but with the chains just down here. But when you actually have it on, it looks pretty cute. Let me see if I could kind of display it for you. Because it doesn't, it's not long, so it kind of is like a bit, but it just doesn't have that whole effect. And I mean, this was a dollar, so I don't really, I'm not going to be picky about it. I still love it. I like rose gold because it matches my Michael Kors watch. They did have a silver one as well, but I find myself wearing more of this type of color now. So this was really cute, and this is a dollar as well. Next, I did buy some baby wipes because baby wipes are like the best thing to like clean up any excess eyeshadow or eyeliner, unwanted stuff that's on your face. Um, makeup as well. So I bought these for a dollar from the same store and they're Elmo because Elmo's cute. And then also, okay, funny story with this. So sometimes I do have like blackheads on my nose and it's freaking annoying because I want my makeup to look nice. I don't want to see little black dots on my nose. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should try something from this store. So I picked these up. They're deep cleansing nose strips. They come with a pack of three. They look like this. It's just like the little pack. And um, I was reading the directions. So it says to wash your face, dry your face, wet your nose, unpeel the little strip, and the shiny side goes down. And then, of course, the top goes up. So your nose is wet. So it, adhes it adhesives. Ugh. It gets stuck to your freaking nose. And I was like, okay, like, whatever. So I'm on YouTube looking at videos, and then I was like, just, okay, I'm going to finish reading the directions. It says, let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes, and then by the time it's over, it'll be completely hard. And then at the bottom it says, slowly and carefully peel off strip. If there isn't any, if there's residue, clean off with water. And then it just says, caution, 
If the strip adheres too strongly to skin or is painful to remove, wet the strip thoroughly until strip slides off easily. And I totally was like laughing in my room by myself like, oh my god, I could totally picture someone getting that thing stuck to their nose. Like, what are they going to do? Just walk around with a white strip all day? So I continued with my videos and then I would touch it and then I would watch them and then I would touch it and I was like... What the heck? This thing is like freaking concrete on my nose. Let me get this off now. So I start peeling and it's so freaking painful that I'm like, what am I going to do? So I run to the restroom. My mom's walking by the restroom. She's looking at me like, what the heck is on your nose and why are you peeling your nose off? So I'm like freaking out. I finally get it to like right here and then I have to wet it because there's just no way that it's going to come off. I'm not going to go through the pain. I felt like the top layer of my nose was gone. But regardless, I um, managed to get it off with water. I will say this, though. I have no more blackheads on my nose, although I'm not too sure if the first layer of my skin is still on or if it's on the little nose pad. Um, so I can't really say much about this other than I recommend it because you'll totally not have any blackheads anymore. If you want to go through the pain, I mean, this was a dollar, so it's worth it. They're called Deep Cleansing Nose Strips. So, I definitely will use this again. I might be a little bit more cautious. I might just wet the whole strip before I try to take it off. Um, because it was really painful. But, get your hands on these if you want to get rid of those things. And then the last thing I picked up was some... I, I ran out of my 3-in-1 CoverGirl Outblast. I didn't want to repurchase it. I think I will repurchase it anyway because it's like a really, really good foundation. Perfect for the summertime. But I wanted to try something else as well. So I picked up this Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish. And it's in the color 04 Light. I really, really, really like this stuff. Although I think the color is a little bit too dark for me. Which is weird because it's in light. Um, but I will tell you that two days that I did wear this to work. A lot of patients. We're like, oh my god, can I ask you what kind of foundation do you have? It just looked so smooth and so airbrushy. And that was the word I needed. Like, okay, they can tell that obviously it's supposed to be like an airbrush finish. So it does really work. I really, really like it. It was a little bit hard for me to pick my color. But I probably would repurchase this product again. Um, I'm going to try to see what works better for me in summer. Spring is still here. Summer's starting. It's pretty hot, but sometimes it's still cold. So I'm going to kind of play around back and forth to see which one works better for me at which time. So I'll probably go back between this one and the Maybelline Atlas. But if you guys, I mean the CoverGirl Atlas. But if you guys are looking for a full coverage, 3-in-1 with primer, concealer, all that, get your hands on the CoverGirl one. Trust me. But if you're looking for like a softer, just airbrushy, flawless finish, I really do recommend this. It was $7, and I think when I went to CVS, they had that, um, if you spend, no, it was $9. If you spend $10 or more, you get $3 back from the little extra bucks. So it came out to $10, so you figure, I already used the $3 on whatever else I wanted. So it's really like I only paid $7 for this and just purchased something else. But I totally recommend this as well. So that's pretty much it for my little haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, if there's any videos you want to see, any reviews, anything you want me to post up, feel free to just let me know in the comments below. I know my Get Ready With Me video was really heavily requested. I've gotten people ask me um, just around, you know, like in person, can you post a video like that? I've been trying to post that freaking video for like a week. And it has been driving me crazy. And today it actually told me that it failed and it wasn't going to do it. And I was like, you know what, whatever. I'm just going to film a whole new one. And then I was looking at YouTube and it was there. So I was like, oh, oh my God, thank you. So finally it's there. So I'm sorry it took so long, but definitely check that video out. Um, so subscribe if you're not subscribed and tell everybody you know because I want people.